Buffalo Bills versus Aaron Rodgers going back to the last time we played and we all know what happened to Aaron Rodgers. I think there is going to be some embedded fear in Aaron Rodgers going against this Buffalo Bills defense. I don't care what anyone says, tearing his Achilles, what, two plays into the game last year. I think Aaron Rodgers is definitely going to be fearful going against Bills Mafia. And that leads me to the first way the Buffalo Bills could beat the New York Jets Monday night in New Jersey is starting fast because I truly believe the New York Jets are going to start slow, clearly firing their head coach Robert Sala this week, promoting their defensive coordinator. I don't think we're going to see that much change necessarily defensively for the New York Jets. I know Robert Sala was a defensive-minded head coach, but his defensive coordinator obviously working hand-in-hand, hand, similar to what Sean McDermott does for the Buffalo Bills, being so instrumental on this defense. I really think the Buffalo Bills need to take advantage and start fast because Aaron Rodgers might not start fast due to his fear going against the Buffalo Bills. He's going to definitely have to overcome it. And I'll tell you right now, the first play of the game, I'm assuming, is probably going to be a run. Aaron Rodgers dropping back against Bills Mafia. Man, I'll tell you right now, I'd be very, very fearful. We have to see what is ultimately going to unfold here. But the second theme I think the Buffalo Bills really need to capture here is stopping the run. We all know the New York Jets are really going to try to establish the run. Um, you know, we know it. We know it. Brees Hall is a great running back. Uh, Allen, their other running back, he's a speed demon. He's a great running back. We all know the New York Jets really rely on running that football, using play action to open up the pass. Now, I know Aaron Rodgers can make all the throws. He can see the entire field, potentially one of the best passers, pure passers of the football the NFL has ever seen. So he's fully capable of winning games out of the pocket. But Aaron Rodgers is getting up in age. And I think Really, if we force the New York Jets to become this pass-happy offense versus the Buffalo Bills, I think that is really what is going to suit us the most. I mean, we saw last week, unfortunately, Cole Bishop being out of position a couple of times, allowing that long touchdown run. And that's kind of been the reoccurring theme here. All it really takes defensively is one man out of position, and you could really hit a home run running the football. So the Buffalo Bills really need to focus in on taking away what is going to be easy for the New York Jets. We want to force their hand into doing what is difficult. And I think what is going to be difficult is Aaron Rodgers passing the ball 50 times in this game, sitting in the pocket, fearful of this Buffalo Bills defensive line, chowing down after him, knowing what happened to his Achilles last time we played. I think that is really the right recipe to win here. Now I know... James Cook having some drama uh, at the Buffalo Venue Club and also injuring his toe. I think James Cook is going to be hyped up for this game. If he is a go, I'm expecting James Cook to have a huge, huge day. If not, even Ty Johnson, Ray Davis. We got some hun hungry, hungry running backs in the background here. And statistically, Ty Johnson has done well against the New York Jets. I believe he was on the New York Jets for a little bit. So I think there's some added motivation there for Ty Johnson going against the New York Jets. And really, we haven't seen much of Ty Johnson or Ray Davis during the regular season. But when you reflect back to last year for Ty Johnson and his preseason for Ray Davis, I really believe that they could both be pieces to this Buffalo Bills offense. Something that is a little bit different from Joe Brady compared to Ken Dorsey and even Brian Dable was the usage of the backs. You know, you go back to Brian Dable and Devin Singletary and Frank Gore, uh, even Zach Moss when we drafted him. At least these players were somewhat getting involved. Even Ken Dorsey with Latavius Murray and, um, you know, all the guys that, that we had here and, and James Cook. You know, there was still, and even Zach Moss, there was still somewhat of a rotation between backs. And this season so far, it seems like it's just been James Cook and occasionally a sprinkle of, of Ty Johnson. But this game could be different. We shall see. Because of the injury to James Cook, will his reps be limited? We really need to find, key in on that and, and, and pay attention to that. Also, offensively here, the Bills are really looking for a table setter. And I... Totally agree, and I'm totally aligned with 
Joe Brady and the Bills' new philosophy here, being a chameleon type, not necessarily like going into games force feeding any particular player, assuming that that player is going to be successful that week. We all know things change weekly. Defenses, they play play and prepare completely differently on a week-to-week -week basis. You know, one team might view one player as your best player. Another team might view someone else as your best player. And I think the Buffalo Bills are doing it right by saying everyone's going to eat. We're going to adjust based on what defenses are doing to us. If you want to take player A out, then we're going to go to player B. Then if you have an answer for player B or if you're trying to supplement player B, then we're going to go to C. And we have all these different plans. And I've been saying it, like, what is the Buffalo Bills offensive identity? To me, the Buffalo Bills offensive identity has been to be a chameleon, to, to change our colors, to, to really adjust to the environment in which we are in. And I know a lot of people, they like dictating, right? They don't, they don't like having defenses dictate to the offense. And I think that is the theme for Sean McDermott and our defenses. We ultimately want our defense to dictate to the offenses. We want the offense to adjust to what we're doing defensively. And I think we are just opening the door for defenses to do that to us. Like we're saying, we're inviting defenses pretty much to dictate to us offensively. But we we have the belief and the trust in our players that we're going to have the answers. And it, it, this week, it, it might be Keon Coleman that pops off. Next week, it might be Khalil Shakir. And the following week, it might be James Cook. And that's what Joe Brady is alluding to is that everyone is going to eat in this offense because defenses are going to play us differently and we're going to open up things with other players. And I really believe in that philosophy. I think that is the right philosophy. You go back to the even like the Patriots and Tom Brady and Bill Belichick when that was all happening, depending on how defenses played them, if they were taking away a certain element of the game, they would hit Rob Gronkowski down the seam or they would have these short little passes or they would run the ball. It was just always something they had stored or they always had an answer to. So as soon as you started figuring something out about us, as soon as you started taking away something, we should have something to, to supplement that and complement and work off of it. And that's something that Dan Orlovsky spoke about last year is that Ken Dorsey really, really lacked that. He didn't have things to complement what he was working on during the game. If you're trying to establish the run and you're running it and running it, well, what's a complement to establishing the run and having people walk up in the box? It, it, it's play action, right? So I, I believe the Bills are going to fare very well against the New York Jets. I don't think this game is going to be close. I think the Bills are going to completely dominate Aaron Rodgers. So it really starts with starting fast. It starts with stopping the run, getting them out of what is going to be easy for them. And again, I really think it just finding who's going to set the table for the Buffalo Bills, whether it's running it, finding the open person in this Buffalo Bills offense. But I appreciate you guys all so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe for future content. Check the links down below in the description. You get $20 off SeatGeek. Just use promo code BNC. Also, the BNC Chicken Wing merch just looks like that logo there. But on the t-shirt, we have over 50 reviews and also $50 off course careers. You guys can land a fully remote, high-paying job. That's personally how I landed my job in 2024. Appreciate you. Hit like, subscribe, and go Bills.